Hey everyone, this is Nick DiRobertis teaching you financial modeling. Today, we're going to be talking about estimating the cost of equity in Excel. This is part of our lecture segment on the DCF model, focusing on the cost of capital side of the model. So we went through this uh, intro on the DCF model and talked about its various parts. We discussed enterprise and equity value. Um, we discussed the general approach to cost of equity estimation, and we also looked at how to carry that out in Python as well. So now we're coming to now estimating that in Excel. So we can jump over to the Excel uh, workbook. So here we have uh, the prices on the market portfolio as well as the prices on the asset and we have the risk-free rate as well so the first thing that we want to do is in order to fit the cap model we need to be using returns and not prices so we want to calculate the returns on the market and on the asset so um, I'm going to add the market return and uh, asset return columns and I'm going to start from the second row because you can't calculate a return on a single value. It has to be using this value and the prior value. So a return is simply just percentage change in the stock price. And so it's going to be a new minus old over old. And uh, I messed up my parentheses there. Make sure you have parentheses around this hop um, so that the order of operations is maintained. And then this should work to calculate the return. We should get like a, a 17, or sorry, 11, 17%, yep. Um, then should be able to just uh, complete that down um that is still working properly and also drag that over that it's also working properly so now we have the returns on both the market and the asset so then uh in the cap m formula we have this return on the market minus the risk free rate the market risk premium that we need to use to estimate it so we can calculate the market risk premium as the return on the market minus the risk-free rate and fix that risk-free rate so that it can go all the way down and still reference the same rate. Um, and there, now we see this is working appropriately. So now we have the market risk premium. So now we can go ahead and estimate the regression, which is going to fit the historical CAPM model. So um, we can go to the data tab and over to data analysis. That is gonna be the area um, where we can find the regression. If you don't see this over here, if there's no analysis section at all, you need to enable the data analysis tool pack. Uh, in order to do that, it's just file, options, add-ins, manage Excel add-ins, and then you wanna check this analysis tool pack. Uh, and then it should show up over here. It's included on all Excel. Um, it just only shows up if you enable it. So then we can use this data analysis and we wanna pick regression out of this list regression and the y is going to be the uh, market risk premium or sorry the y is going to be the asset prices and the x is going to be the market risk premium and we can put this on a new worksheet um, and here I do not have any labels because we had this gap. I started from here. Um, so now we're ready to estimate it. So then we see this uh, new sheet open up. Uh, we can call this the CAPM regression. And uh, 
we see the beta here as the coefficient on the x variable. So we can see that it's the same as the one that we had estimated in Python as well. Um, and I'm just going to bring that back over to this sheet for our calculation of uh, the cost of capital going forward. So now uh, we have the beta. Now, in order to estimate the future cost of capital, we also need to know the market return that we're going to plug into the model. So we can uh, calculate the market return as the average of the historical market returns. So simply just taking an average of the market return column will be enough to give a good estimate for the market return. Uh, now, you can always adjust this as well as the beta based on your expectations about the future. Uh, and I spoke about this concept more in the prior two videos going over the overview of cost of equity and on the Python side. Um, but taking the historical average uh, is basically our baseline kind of uh, estimate for the future, and it can be adjusted if you think that the future is going to be substantially different from the past. So now we have all the component pieces that we need to be able to estimate the cost of equity going forward. So in order to get the cost of equity, remember that in the CAPM formula, it's the risk-free rate plus the beta times the market risk premium and the market risk premium is the market return minus the risk free rate so that's all that we have to do to get an estimate of the cost of equity in excel calculate the returns calculate the market risk premium run the regression of the asset returns on the market risk premium take the beta from that calculate the historical market returns, and put it all together into the cost of equity estimate for the future. So um, then in order to wrap up this portion of the lecture on cost of equity, uh, we also have a lab exercise here. And so there's some price data on the course site. You can go ahead and download that. Assume a risk free rate of 2%. You want to come up with the beta and cost of equity. Um, and then I'm also getting into this, uh, you should be thinking about adjusting these things if necessary. So imagine that it's going to be a recession in the future and so the market return is gonna be 3% lower. What would be the new cost of equity? Um, and for this exercise, feel free to use either Excel or Python, whatever uh, you would prefer. And the answers are provided for you here as well. So uh, that's everything involved in Excel cost of equity estimation and the lab exercise on this material. So thanks for listening and I'll see you next time.